Three U.S. diplomatic heavyweights are visiting Israel and its Arab neighbors in the same week. The aim? To push forward the peace process from all sides. President Obama's special Middle East envoy, George Mitchell, made a stop in Syria before heading for Israel. It was yet another sign of Obama's keenness to re-engage Damascus, labeled an outcast by the Bush administration, as part of an effort to breathe life into stalled peace talks. If we are to succeed, we will need Arabs and Israelis alike to work with us to bring about comprehensive peace. Defense Secretary Robert Gates is also visiting Israel and Jordan from Sunday. And then there's James Jones, Obama's national security advisor, whose trip to the region begins on Tuesday. As the U.S. ratchet up the pressure on Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he would try to work out his country's policy disagreements with Washington. Naturally, in the context of friendly relations between allies, there aren't agreements on all points and on several issues. We are trying to reach an understanding. But the issue of Jewish settlements in East Jerusalem remains a major sticking point. The U.S. calls for a freeze on construction are out of the question for Israeli hardliners. What has to be made the, uh, crystal clear is that there is no talk, no uh, discussion, no negotiation over Jerusalem and what we do within the city. Also on the agenda is Iran's nuclear program. Obama's diplomacy has been put to the test. On Saturday, Iran's Revolutionary Guard announced they would strike Israel's nuclear facilities if Tel Aviv attacked the Islamic State.